Dave Berlin, how the heck are you? Hey, hey, man. I feel like fall finally got uh, all of our text messages. <laughs> <laughs> it was like <laughs> I, yesterday woke up and it was like 40 degrees. <laughs> it's like. Fall. I don't think I've ever been so happy for it to be cold in my life. <laughs> fall. It's like, hey, I got your messages. So like all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> I've hey, been, I just saw your message. <laughs> I've been in meetings all summer. <laughs> I had no idea. I yeah, had no right? idea you guys wanted me back so badly. <laughs> yeah. For for those of you watching, it's not a thousand degrees here yeah. today. I know we were a little better last month. I think we were like 95. Right. Right. So it wasn't a thousand degrees last time. But this is like, for those of you who can't see, because you can't see the camera because you're looking through it. Like we don't have an ice pack on it this month. Yeah, we don't have an yeah. ice pack on our internet. We don't. Yeah. Like I, I'm, I'm hoping this computer is going to hang in there. It's getting kind of warm, but yeah. Yo, man, tell me about uh, GEW. Give me the update. Give me the vets and tech update. Yeah. Um, I've been, I've been waiting all day. We were going to try to bring Dave's talk live to you, and we just didn't get the tech set up before he gave his talk. So, yeah, no. so we'll try to do that in the future. But yeah, give us the update. GEW vets and tech. Yeah. Why networking? Here we are. Going on? Here we are. We're thirty days out. Thirty days. Thirty days out from Global Entrepreneurship Week, and it is here. Um, we we really gotten hyper focused this year, and very much in this last sprint. So there's actually a lot of things that are going to be happening. And for those of you that don't know, for those of you just turning tuning in, Global Entrepreneurship Week is going to happen November 18th through the 24th. It is, uh, it is 20. Uh, sorry, 10,000 events all around the world, all the same week in November. Uh, it just so happens to be this year, it's the same week as F1, uh, not by design at our fault. It's uh, actually, um, it's happening let's, in so let's, many other communities. Let's, let's not even worry about whose yeah. fault it is. Yeah. Let's talk <laughs> about the opportunity that yeah. comes with having Global yeah. Entrepreneurship Week the same week as F1. Yeah, here the, the opportunity is great because and Vegas is on And some other cool fire. events that Vegas yeah. has decided to do the same week, right? Yeah. Downtown the has city, a whole thing they're uh, doing. What is it, Neon Lights Festival? Neon Lights Festival, yeah. Uh, we've got Corner Bar. They're going to be doing some stuff that's kind of a separate activation <clears> there. <throat> uh, but no, this year, uh, we're really excited. Um, we're already starting to get more events on the calendar. I think we're at like 20 events on the well, calendar. You can count which, me in for one. I just, yeah. need to, I just need to get my act together and find a venue and put it together. There it is. So we'll get you on the calendar. <laughs> and uh, honestly, um, kind of had this aha moment this year. Um, Global Entrepreneurship Network does a really good job of kind of doing this big impact report and seeing all the different types of entrepreneurs that benefit from being part of Global Entrepreneurship Week. So. <laughs> Um, it's funny because back when I first started having these conversations two, three years ago, people would be like, oh, send me more information. Well, Global Entrepreneurship Network has these really good audience guides, and they're about 10 page reports of like how to get involved, why it's specific for these different audiences. And I, I will read it off because I don't want to miss anybody. Yeah, but I, I, I want you to read off the audiences. Mm -hmm. And after you read off the list, here in Las Vegas, we've got some good representation from some of yeah. the audiences. Let's talk yeah. about who we'd like to get representation yeah. from, who we'd like to connect with for GEW, because we there are some of those there are some of those audiences that you and I and some of the folks yeah. on the the team don't have good connections with. No, you're right, and and with that, um, the we do have a few. The way the structure is right now, I'm the state coordinator. We have a few community organizers. We have Elias Benjaloon in uh, North Las Vegas. We have uh, Nadia and Lauren in mm -hmm. Las Vegas, Nadia yep. uh, Russo and Lauren Jones. Yep. We also have um, uh, Ben uh, Lefsky and Henderson. Yep. And now our newest addition is uh, Lourdes Madrigal with the Veteran Business Outreach Center up in Reno. So we've got the state covered for these volunteer community organizers. Where so we've got we've got the state covered. We've got city of Las Vegas. Yep. We've got Henderson. Yep. We've kind of got Clark County ish. Yep. And then what we Reno, don't, what yeah. we don't, and we have Reno, which yeah. is great. What we don't have is North Las Vegas. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, oh, we do. Uh, yeah, uh, Elias is North. Las oh, Vegas. Elias yep. is North Las yep. Vegas. Okay, but we don't have like Mesquite. Yeah. We don't have yeah. like we don't have like uh, Searchlight. So we the. Don't, we don't have Ely, and we know yeah. we know there's entrepreneurship going on in these communities. Yeah, so we we've, we're working with the governor's office to work on some of the rural entrepreneurs. Um, I can't I can't physically go down and chase all of those people because I don't even know where they are. 
um, or if they even care. So what we have right now is the the governor's office of economic development is kind of rounding up all the the rural entrepreneurs and figuring out where we can spend our our best time. Uh, so we've got the the geographic parts covered. Here's where we're looking for the very specific audiences, and all this comes from a a big global impact report. Uh, they do a big study to figure out who benefits the most, but um, and they can find that at gew.org, right? Yeah, uh, gew. Uh, yeah, gew.co is going to ah, be okay. where you find the global impact report. And then on the local level, if you go to gewnevada.com, you're going to find more of the local stuff that we've got going on. But here's the the list of these very specific audiences. And now, as we've got kind of the we've got the the right community organizers in play, now we want to build this com, uh, this committee slash coalition with somebody at the top of each one of these categories that can kind of help expand that network. So we've got Encore Entrepreneurs, which Encore Entrepreneurs are going to be people that have retired from their normal career, and maybe they're seeking entrepreneurship post-retirement. So that's an Encore Entrepreneur. Uh, military and veteran entrepreneurs like yep. myself, like yourself. Yep, we got. I think um, we got that one covered. But that, that doesn't mean we covered. don't. That doesn't mean we don't want you on the team. Yep. Sin if you're if you're interested, yep. Holla, holla at your boys. If you're interested and you want more information, I got a ten ten page PDF to tell yep. you what's going on. Or uh, or just reach out and we can talk to you. Yep. Yep. We won't uh, make you read stuff. We've got the chambers of commerce. Uh, so uh, we've got Vegas Chamber, Henderson Chamber, uh, Latin Chamber. We've got uh, the Asian American Pacific Islander Chamber involved. Um, so chambers of commerce, uh, we talked about rural entrepreneurs. We're also looking for colleges and universities. So a lot of the different colleges, universities, even the, uh, the, what's it called? The community colleges mm -hmm. all have some type of entrepreneurship program. So we want to be able to connect with them and make sure that we're able to amplify that global entrepreneurship week is even happening. So if you're a student or faculty, uh, at college of Southern Nevada, UNLV, UNR, uh, Nevada State College, uh, some of the the other medical schools we've got here. Yep. If you're if you're interested in entrepreneurship or want to be part of this, reach out to us. We'll we'll get you involved. Yep. We've also got policymakers and policy advocates. So a lot of the policies that go on really do affect entrepreneurship at a, mm -hmm. at a greater scale. Uh, so if you know anybody that's involved in policy for economic development, those are great connections yep. as well. And that, and that doesn't just mean government, that just doesn't mean uh, government uh, organizations, not nonprofits who are interested in policy or have policies they want to advance, right? So, you know, if you are interested in policy and advancing policy, you don't need to be a government person to do this. We're looking for people who are looking to advance policy in all areas especially entrepreneurship. Absolutely. Uh, we also have a lot of the different demographics. We've got black entrepreneurs, Latin entrepreneurs, Asian entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs, LGBTQ entrepreneurs, um, and then even investors and makers as well. Uh, so makers p being people that, that build things, right? Yep. So those are just a few of the categories. And, and to really be honest, if we were able to get one person to rate, you know, kind of stand up for each one of those communities and really uh, get engaged with Global Entrepreneurship Network, then they help three or four events happen. And then those people get involved. And then it's, oh, I didn't know Global Entrepreneurship Week is a thing. And then slowly this starts to kind of catch on uh, like wildfire. And we go from literally having 20 events on the calendar to having 50 or 60 events yep. on the calendar. Um, and really it's not to reinvent the wheel. We're not trying to recreate this whole series. We're not trying to compete against the other events and stuff like that are going on. We're just trying to show up, um, put dates on those calendars and, and be present for our community so we can uh, do what I've always said, right? You know, connect the people of, of our city and our state and show the world who we really are. Yeah, and so you read off a whole list of audiences and communities we're trying to connect with. If you are an entrepreneur and you didn't hear a community that represents you on that list, yep. we still want you to participate. Yep. Reach out to us. We will get you involved and yep. we'll get your community involved. Yep. So. www.gewnevada.com. All right. What else? What else do you want to talk about? Uh, everything else is really good. I mean, you know, we've got uh, Vets and Tech, I think, is really getting... Uh, getting anchored in the community here. Um, it's a really busy season for them because we've got the gala coming up in, in November, a which a lot of people are still learning about what what Vets and Tech is for Las Vegas and mm -hmm. what it means for the, the state of Nevada. But in, in Silicon Valley, where it was born and raised, it's like 
They know. You know. They know, and they're getting excited because this is their big annual gala. Yeah. So we'll be and going, we're going for that. Yep. We're and, going. And the other part, too, is that Global Entrepreneurship Network and uh, Vets in Tech have officially partnered. That's um, right. So we will be really pushing a lot of stuff through, through the military veteran <laughs> entrepreneur space. Uh, and you and I are. We we met some amazing folks today and had them on the stream who are going to be great folks to help Love us it. advance the ball with vets in tech. Um, from a uh, one especially who um, is uh, running an IT company and all excited about providing internships and jobs pipeline, uh, not just for vets in general into the tech community, but uh, we. We met some amazing folks today. We've uh, we've, we've really we've really got some opportunities to push the ball forward with vets and tech. I love so, that. I know you got got to head out. You're back to another do. thing, but we will uh, we will reconnect soon. I love it, man. All right, high fives. All right.